Our Tuesday forecast and another day to just crank up the AC. Yeah, that's right. And stay indoors if you're able to. If you're not able to, make sure that you are staying hydrated, that you're dressed for the heat, and that you're not overexerting yourself outside this afternoon when conditions get dangerously hot. Now, fire danger also a big concern for us today. If the winds were stronger than what we're projecting, we would have a fire weather watch in place. Temperatures 103 to 108 degrees in the valley this afternoon. Winds out of the north up to 20 miles an hour. We'll see sustained winds up to that range with gusts possible up to 25 miles an hour and humidity 5 to 20 percent. So it's getting very dry out there for today. Dry, breezy, hot. All three of those conditions combined result in high fire danger for your Tuesday forecast. So on your way out the door this morning, make sure that you are prepared for that and you're staying safe today. Do not mow your lawn this afternoon. We could see that spark a fire and that fire could spread rather quickly. Now we don't have any fire weather watches in place for today. We're right on the cusp of that though, so just be prepared for that. We do have a heat advisory going into effect at 9 a.m. this morning, lasting through 10 p.m. tonight for entire the entirety of the valley as well as the foothills through tonight. So be prepared for that. Temperatures will be dangerously hot today. Getting a look at temperatures this morning. We're looking at 70s to 80s in the valley right now. Redding has stayed in the 80s overnight. Low to mid 70s for the remainder of the valley. High 60s to low 70s in the foothills with 40s to 50s in the mountains this morning. Satellite and radar showing clear skies outside right now. We are going to see high pressure continuing to be the dominant feature in our forecast for today and mostly tomorrow. After that, we see a little bit of influence from a low pressure area heading through to the north. That's going to bring showers to areas of Washington and Oregon. For our neck of the woods, that just means a cooler trend with the Delta breeze kicking it up a notch late this week and that will have some relief from the heat on the way in your extended forecast. You're going to see what I'm talking about in just a second in that seven day temperatures today though toasty across our region 104 for Chico and Orville as well as Willows 106 for Redding 107 in Red Bluff 105 in Corning so it's going to be hot across the board for today mid to high 90s in the foothills 80s to mid 90s in the mountains this afternoon. Your storm tracker seven day forecast where your weekend is always in view. 104 degrees for Chico today, 96 tomorrow, low 90s Thursday and Friday. That's the Delta breeze kicking in right there. We'll be in the low 90s through your weekend and through the start of next week with lows in the mid 60s across the board for your seven day. Reading 106 degrees this afternoon, not seeing the same impact from the Delta breeze towards the end of the week. 103 for Wednesday, 96 degrees on Thursday, 93 on Friday. So that's a little relief on the way back into those mid to high 90s this weekend and then mid 90s for the start of next week's forecast. So while we do see a little bit of a drop in temperatures on the way, temperatures are staying a bit toasty through your weekend, but at least we're not seeing triple digits ahead for that weekend forecast. Julia.